Hello, and welcome to the Atheist Experience. I'm your host, Matt Dillahunty. Joining me this week, Tracy Harris. Hello. How are you? Good. We're so glad you could join us today. Oh, screw all that. We're live like normal. Today is Sunday, August 17th, 2008. Thanks to everybody who's joining and watching us live. So let's just go ahead and get to, the, get, get to this answer, which is, I'll say that there are no other animals besides humans who create technology in the sense that you're, you're talking about it. Next. Well, why is that? Do you know? Well, that's because, what, wait, can I just answer this? Yes. Is, is, how is that different than asking which animal has a longer neck than a giraffe? Is that significant to you? Uh, yeah, well, in regards, you know, there are different, different animals on the face of this planet. I mean, yes, but what has a longer neck than like, a giraffe? What animal has a longer neck than a giraffe? Uh, a snake, probably. I, I guess if you can, I know because there's no snakes. I don't know if there is a snake that. Yeah, is there a, may be an anaconda. That, there might be elephants. It's not uh, a neck. They don't have a neck. It depends where they're, you know, the rest of the body uh, ends. Or anyway, starts. none of that makes but, any difference. But the point difference. is, just because an animal has, uh, you know, it asserts a certain characteristic that is beyond the other animals, like a cheetah being the fastest, you know, or I mean, whales being. Why dead. is that significant that animals excel at different things, including people? Well, just. Uh, I just wanted to know, you know, or maybe get an answer in regards to the the technological capability differences that there is between uh, humans and the rest of, of uh, creation. Come on now, you're not going to make me believe, especially since we've had this exact conversation a year and a half ago, that you don't yes, already and understand, and still, uh, you that, know, you, that you don't already... Wondering why. Oh my God, can I finish? Yeah, uh-huh. Uh, that you're not going to make me believe that you don't understand that humans are the only ones that have developed technology in the sense that you're, you're talking about. So could you just make your actual point? You don't have to lead me down the primrose path. Yeah, but, uh, well, that's, that's the actual uh, uh, deal that I'm right. struggling, okay. struggling with. No other, right. animals, no other animals on the planet are as technologically advanced as humans. So but what? Why not? I mean, uh, so you what? Know, you've got animals that, that run real fast, uh, the cheetah, right. the right. rabbit. They, and uh, some of them run lion. faster than any other animal. So what does that mean about them? Well, yeah, but uh, why the vast difference between humans and, and the rest of Why creation? the vast difference between a cheetah running and me running? Why is a whale so different <laughs> from an amoeba? Why is, why is a cockroach so different from an elephant? That's, that's my point. Uh, okay. Why is everything and so, then, so then vastly here is your, then, between oh, uh, please, Ruben, them and, and humans? Stop, Reuben. Here's your answer. Because mutations occur, things change, and natural selection selects against things that, in order to eliminate uh, them from the population, essentially, you don't get to, to, to reproduce. This process, over millions of years, creates the diversity of life. And it's because, in some areas, you don't need a big brain in order to survive. What you need is the ability to run really fast. And in other areas, you don't need to be uh, extremely strong and muscular in order to survive. What you need to be is <laughs> tiny and camouflaged and hidden. That is how you get the diversity of life. But can I just say also that, I mean, if, if every species wasn't unique in some way, we wouldn't be able to catalog them as separate species. Yeah. I mean, that's ridiculous to point out a difference in one thing and say, see, it's different than everything else. Every species is different than everything else, or else we wouldn't be able to differentiate between animals. Okay, the animal world is, is uh, you know, uh, besides their, you know, physical uh, abilities, their, their characteristics are more or less the same. Uh, you know, they don't have the... Uh, How can capabilities of building stuff and, and no, stuff. No, 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 that's not true. What do you mean build things? Why is that? That's, <laughs> it's not true. Or technology or, or uh, Have you ever seen and, an anthill? You know, evolving into technology. Have you seen why a is that? Animals build things. We see things that animals build all the time around us. I have bird nests in my backyard. You, well, when, when are they going to, uh, I mean, uh, if they're evolving and stuff, and they've been around millions of years ago. When are they going to start evolve, evolving? Okay, when, when are this, you is, lay an egg? this is the problem. You <laughs> think that evolution is some kind of ladder with a goal, and that is not the case at all. There is no goal. There is no advancement. It's just change. There's no evolutionary state that is necessarily better than some evolutionary state. There's only the state versus the selection criteria at the time. That's it. It may turn okay. out to be. It so, may so turn humans, out to. They may, climbed up that may, shut up. 
<laughs> it may turn out to be the case that humans, despite our wacky huge intellect, have actually been evolving down a path that's going to lead to our own destruction. It may not be an ultimate advantage to us to have this intellect. It may actually have been an advantage to stay in the trees and stay with smaller populations and not develop technology. You are putting a value on something because you value it, and that's fine. I value it too. But that does not have anything at all to do with the evolutionary process. There's no goal. There's no ladder. There's no higher than. There's no better than. There's only what you are and what the selection criteria well, is. But even if there was a ladder, I mean, how does the fact that I can manufacture a cell phone prove God? Well, I, I, don't, I don't know, and I don't know that that's necessarily what's going uh, on. Sir? Yes? Hello? Ruben? Hello? Yes? 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 I'm not talking through a four-second delay to you anymore. <laughs> Uh, because I think it's four seconds in about <coughs> 45 years. Well, we have people on hold. Too. Yeah, and there's other people on hold. Um, the short answer is the diversity of life is explained by natural selection and different selection criteria. There is no better. There is only what you are. But since he's and even if, even if evolution was a ladder, that doesn't mean that everything necessarily progressed up the ladder at the same rate, at the same time, or anything else. Um, and by the way, even if all of that was there, it doesn't have anything to do with the point that you're eventually going to get to, which is the only reason we're so clever is because God clearly made us different from the other animals. That's special pleading. You are taking those things that you value, that you see as different about yourself. You know what? The whale could say, hey, the only reason we're so much bigger than everything else is because clearly there's a God who made us better and made <laughs> us to rule over the oceans. You know, why do those humans have to sit over there in the trees and then get so smart and build buildings? They could have just floated around eating plankton all the time. This That's is right. clearly the good life. We're not out to destroy ourselves. We're not out polluting the planet. We're not getting ready to blow ourselves up with nuclear weapons. Clearly, we are evolutionary superior as whales. Your argument's dumb. Sorry.